Hi there, Loy Macedo speaking to you from LoyMacedo.com, who's Loy Macedo, Think Personal Branding. Um, today, I'm going to speak to you about a topic um, which was kind of like it accidentally came up. I was speaking to one of my friends. She's a gamer. Okay, she's based in Dubai. And she was telling me that one of her, you, you know, this famous celebrity who is there, he's a guy who worked with Ellen DeGeneres. Uh, he committed suicide. And uh, um, it seems that it's because of uh, mental health issues or s something like that. I'm not too sure. Um, so she was talking to me about mental health and how this is so powerful, you know, like so many people go through it and uh, and she has personally known people who have gone through it. So, and you know, it, I, I, I told her I'll make a topic about this. And as I sat down and thought about it, you know, because I have these WhatsApp groups, I realized that uh, there are quite a number of youngsters, quite a number of people who are going through this. Some reach out to me, some, you know, uh, obviously, I, I can't spend my time, you know, uh, interacting with everyone because most of them want my opinion, my time, my this thing for free and I'm busy. Okay, but they do write to me. I'm depressed. I'm feeling lost. Um, you know, they bring in uh, love. They bring in parents. They bring in their career path. They bring in, oh, I'm not so successful. Oh, I have this dream. So, I wanted to share my thoughts in this video, okay? And you can put your comments down below. According to me, now, I'm not going with any scientific data or anything. According to me, I think today what has happened is because of the internet and social media and the way social media has influenced our behavior, everyone is sharing information. Everyone is sharing their life to the whole world and everyone is sharing a very glossy, a very perfect image of themselves to the whole world. Like, for example, Instagram. You'll see the perfect photograph. You'll see the perfect car. You'll see the perfect physique. You'll see the perfect girl. You'll see the perfect girlfriend, boyfriend, perfect holiday. Everything is perfect on Instagram. Have a look at Facebook. You'll see the perfect posts, the most intelligent statements, uh, success and they are dressed up in a suit and they are going to this place, that place. Oh, this, my boyfriend loved me so much. He gave me this. My husband loves me so much. He bought me this. Uh, I have such a caring family. Okay. Now, even on LinkedIn also, now it's become another cesspool of nonsense. On LinkedIn, everyone's bragging and sharing how great their life is, how perfect their life is, how everything amazing their life is. Okay. And they will lecture you on uh, advice and uh, how how you should do things. Oh, these are the techniques in the interview. How you can uh, tell me something about yourself. How you can negotiate your salary. So everyone's an expert in everything. Okay, fine. In fact, I was listening to this talk by Jordan Peterson who said the today's young boy or uh, youngster has access, has seen the number of beautiful women more than the previous generation would see in maybe 10 lifetimes. This one boy in one year has access to so many. In fact, on my Facebook feed, the number of girls, uh, these groups, I'm part of Pattaya group, I'm part of all these bar girls, you know, they literally show girls, real, real people huh, who are busy flaunting their breasts and their ass. In fact, now Instagram has, I don't know how, it started now. Instagram keeps showing semi-naked females. Twitter, uh, uh, you know, I, I, uh, someone told me that you can even see porn and all that. I'm not too sure if that exists there, but I did see two or three posts of you know being very sexy and all that. I, I was like, I, I press not interested because I don't want my feed filling up with this. I am aware that there are groups where you can get all this, but just imagine something like OnlyFans where. A normal human being, not a porn star, not a prostitute. Day-to-day -day people have opted to supply content related to sex in exchange for money. And uh, a man who previously found it very shy to even talk to a girl, was insecure, was afraid. Today, sitting behind a monitor, 
can boldly ask the most indecent things without feeling ashamed. Why? Because he can throw some dollars. Now, all these opportunities, no opportunities, you know, take it with a pinch of salt, this word, has brought in over-simulation of the mind, over-simulation of the body, where people have become addicted and now they are going in the wrong direction. So now you're stimulating your mind with pleasure here, uh, content, sexual content, even food, you can see what all delicious food is available. Even you can buy anything from Amazon. You can satisfy your needs. So now, when you are so over, overstimulated with all this uh, pleasure, then what is next? Tell me, what is next? Consider this. If, let's say, you're not healthy, and you're supposed to focus on your health, you're supposed to eat less or eat healthy, but you're being bombarded with Baskin Robbins, Swenson ice cream, KFC, Pizza Hut, Burger King, McDonald's, do you think the person will be healthy? And then when you go to the supermarket, you get buy these sweets for free, buy one, get one free, buy these cookies, buy these chocolates, buy this, do you think the person will be healthy? Then they give you cigarettes, you know, so many flavors, vaping. They give you cold drinks, carbonated juice. They give you, uh, you're drinking calories, you're drinking sugar. You think the person will be healthy? Of course, the person will not be healthy. Then when the person's physically not in shape, don't you think that this will affect the person physically in a negative way? And when you're physically not in a good place, don't you think it'll affect you mentally? Don't you think that would affect you emotionally? And then, when you're addicted to all this, do you think your life is going to be good? Let's say, for example, people are watching YouTube videos. People are watching, they can download pirated movies and entertainment and TikTok and you can keep scrolling free content and Instagram and real videos. You're spending one, two, three hours watching all this. Now that one, two, three hours, maybe you could have focused on your education, maybe training, maybe getting better. But now you're addicted to this. Don't you think all this will make you suffer in the long run? And then when your life is not going as per plan, as per the way you want it, don't you think you will feel crap inside? Just imagine if you're fat, you're bloated and you're hogging and, and you see someone who is having a perfect physique. How do you think you're going to feel? Let's say someone has a great career and they are disciplined. But you have been put into this the swamp, the sinking sand of addiction. And one fine day you look at them and like, man, he has, a, he has a loving wife. He has a good family. He has children. What am I doing with my life? And yeah, you can forget about it and keep hogging. But at some point, it's going to catch up to you, right? And then imagine if in case you can't afford all this, you can't afford a good life, you can't afford... A uh, beautiful female, you can't afford uh, an expensive car, you can't afford an uh, expensive house, you can't ex uh, afford an expensive lifestyle. And don't you think you're going to feel like crap inside? Don't you think you're going to feel empty inside? Like just imagine you have a simple computer, simple computer, but there you see the state of the art, new, latest laptop, latest computer. You see other people having all these amazing gadgets. You see your friends bragging about it on social media. Don't you think you'll feel like, why my life is like this here? And then you have somebody who is young and is bombarded. If you migrate to the West, your life will be better. You'll get a white passport, white privileges, and you'll have this American dream where they just show you a very glossy image of perfection. How do you think he will feel? Oh, why am I here? One guy sees someone who's very rich and happy and has a beautiful family and a beautiful education and a beautiful number of friends and he goes for holidays and he's saying, don't you think he'll feel empty inside? See, the problem is today we are seeing so much of this, this, this content and data that is being bombarded. Girls, girls, for example, simple. They are seeing someone who is, has a surgically enhanced face with those filters and she'll look at her face with pimples and don't you think she's going to feel terrible? 
don't you think if she sees this girl who has obviously had silicon implants whose body bum boobs everything is artificial don't you think she is going to feel inadequate because she doesn't have any money for all this and where her friends maybe someone who can afford creams and filters and f- expensive photographs and she has so many likes so many comments and she's busy showing it to her friends and she has hardly anything to show anyone and then her parents are busy trying to work and they come back home and they're so old fashioned and they shout what are you doing you do your work don't you think she would wish i want this life and she would feel like is my life worth living and then you see girls who flaunt that they have this perfect boyfriend because they have the money they can fool around their values are different and this girl feels who will love me who will be there for me and even guys boys uh, there are guys who are busy bragging about oh i'm with this hot girl i'm with this loving girl i'm holding hands with her she's my janu shanu whatever he'll feel why i can't get any girl here and this affects people man we live in a day and age where today there is so much of content we have access to it and so many people are faking it and so many people are sh- flaunting it it creates a sense of confusion it creates a sense of complete unhappiness and dissatisfaction inside where people are feeling lost people are no longer happy with who they are people are no longer like then there is confusion one side there is the person who shows a perfect figure and other side they're saying body positivity be happy being fat and unhealthy so which one do you listen to one says for example in dieting one says fat is very good one says no fat is very bad carbohydrates is very good one says try diet paleo one guy says no try vegan one guy says one guy says no eat meat one guy says no be natural uh, eat vegetarian which one do you listen to man there's an over this thing like a will say something b will say something a will say b is wrong b will say a is wrong and that confuses people and today the internet world the social media world has completely confused everybody nobody knows what is right nobody knows what is wrong so now the question is what do you do what do you do with all this do you get yourself maybe a mentor a elder father figure or someone who is mature who can guide you do you switch off social media and get away from social media and uh, just try to see the real life do you just decide man i'll just focus on my life and be happy with what i have what is the solution see i i cannot give you a one size fits all but i can tell you this much online is different offline reality is different and for you to succeed and survive it is offline and not online so the first thing is this online no you need to get away from this world nobody is going to die or you're not going to suffer if you disable facebook if you disable instagram tiktok it is not matter of life and death it is entertainment linkedin all that you don't need in fact don't even chat and talk to other people focus on what the present your physical body ask yourself what am i doing with my time don't just every time put on the computer or take the phone and that is the fake world the real world is here and you start working on the issues and problems that you have in the real world that will be the first step second one is sometimes lesser stimulation is better and that involves switching off the internet switching off entertainment go for a walk read a physical book talk to real people go to some real work whether it's work in the kitchen or uh, sit and study or take a stock of your life or even go to work and do something there learn a new skill that will help you much better than doing all this rubbish and please don't look at other people's life other people are different most of them are faking it and last if not the least be practical and real 1 plus 1 is 2 if you're earning if you're earning 100 don't look at billionaires don't look at me if you're earning 100 ask yourself how can i make it 
And once you get the answer for that, 120. Once you get the answer for that, 130. Go step by step. Like if you want to lose weight, don't look at someone with six pack and be fascinated with the shortcut. If you are 90 kilos, first approach 89. No? Then go. Once you do that, then go to 88. No? So step by step. And you will find greater satisfaction in the simplicity and the smallness of these goals and the easy goals and the easy life rather than trying to be something who you are not and trying to compare yourself. Please stop looking at other people. Stop looking at other people's situations. Stop looking at this fake world that is there outside. It will drive you mad and it will drive you up the wall. If you want to achieve peace of mind, I think it's very important to close all this and be with yourself and really look within and try to improve where you are to move to the next step. Keep it simple. So, if one sm simple example, if you have never done walking and you want to start losing weight or keeping fit or health, if you can't, you have never done walking, don't think of running a marathon of 42 kilometers. Start with, let me do 500 meters. If 500 meters is one kilometer, if one kilometer is too much, 500 meters. If 500 is too much, 300 or 200. Or if nothing else, at least 100 meters. And if you can do the 100 meters every single day, there's progress. At least, if that is also tough, at least 10 steps. And if you can't do that, then forget it. No. You need to be realistic. If you can't do the bare minimum, if you can't put two minutes or three minutes of every day's time into something practical, then are you dreaming about, you know, the wonders of the world? I think our problem is today, we are so stimulated with all this magic and all these options. It's analysis paralysis. And that is the reason for unhappiness. I think we need to go back to our roots, switch off social media, switch off the internet, and look at where we are and what can keep us happy. And how we can progress one step at a time. Stop competing, stop all that. Just look at how you can make your life meaningful for that one minute and take it from me. You will be much more happier than all those people, what they show. Yes, it looks very nice to have a Bugatti and beautiful girl and babe and billions and all the BBBBBs. That's all bullshit. Just look into yourself. Keep it simple. And sometimes, like I say, you know, a small bowl of rice, little bit of curry, little salt, maybe that will be the most satisfactory meal that you'll ever have. That's all I want to share with you. You tell me if I'm right or wrong. And um, put your comments down below. Good, bad, ugly. This is me signing off. You guys take care.